Hey Clashers and welcome back to another video. And today we want to jam Town Hall 14 to max on the first update day. So let's see if we can somehow make this. We're starting off with a ton of resources. Obviously there are even more offers still we're going to buy. And we're up, uh, obviously like buying a ton of more gems. Um, but still, this is Town 14. And now a quick reminder, if you guys are thinking about buying any of the offers too, make sure to use the creator code. It's a huge support for us. Um, for uploading obviously daily content and everything but i want to give you guys one reminder this is a lot of money which is on the line i'm doing this for content so always think about that and especially think about if you're going from town hall 1 to town hall 14 for example it's like sixty-five thousand euros or something so this is a lot of money if you're investing like a couple of 100s it's not getting you too much and most of the time it's better just to like not invest too much either way that's just out of the window at the beginning. We're checking out right now the new scenery, which was in an offer as well. And it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. Like overall, not that much as a jungle. Like the top left corner of the scenery, yes, that looks like a jungle. But the rest, not really. So I feel like the name for the scenery is not like is not the correct one, it seems like. But either way, the goblins look pretty cool with their like gem eyes and with the with the gold teeth and everything it it, it looks pretty cool okay we, we have to say that and wait what is that like there's some fruits in there and there's a banana okay so this this looks kind of funny but either way either way let's get into some nice jamming and everything because we want to get started this is a lot of things which we have to do and well we're just starting things off with just buying the tunnel 14 offer just to make sure that we have already this pet house on level two now there's the quick guide i guess yeah there's the quick guide on how to use them i would do a video tomorrow about what are the best pet combinations for most of the strategies out there so if you're wondering about like you're going with queen charge hybrid what is your best pet combination make sure to come back tomorrow for the next video but now we have the pet house finally and one thing which you should always remember about in the beginning, you have like this plus five thing active, like the boost and everything, which is helping you a lot. Um, but either way, I think we should get started with the laboratory just to make uh, make sure that we're getting rid of something, like making sure something is working. So let's get started with the healers. I already said the healers are kind of broken on Tower 14, so upgrade them first. That's what we're doing right now, uh, right now as well. If you guys would like to check out my guide, I uploaded that yesterday, and I'm following the same guidelines, basically. So about upgrade and everything, upgrade order, etc. So we have a ton of League Medals, and in addition to that, we can still give away to our self League Medals as well, like as a as a bonus. So we should be fine on that. So we can get a lot of resources just with investing those um, League Medals. But um, yeah, so now obviously investing some more hammers into the into the heroes because we want to get those out of the way as early as possible, right? So we have them done, done kind of early on. Um, so now the next thing which we have to do is like the archers and the barbarians are reset. That I feel like they are kind of important because you want to make your heroes even stronger. You have now pets and king and queen are summer, uh, like summoning those those archers and barbarians, and you want to have them maxed and ASAP. So now we have um, well using a couple of hammers uh, just to make sure things are getting maxed, and we somehow need to get something out of the way, right? Like we need to get started somewhere, and it, this seems kind of chaotic, <laughs> and it is. <laughs> But I feel like I need to start somewhere. So th that's kind of it. We have resources in our clan castle as well, which we can like collect if we want to. We need to make sure that we're getting the next upgrade done, which is the barbarian. So we can get like still some resources from the League Metal Shop, wherever we want to go. But I think first, just upload, uh, like, just upload, look, just buy some gems. So we have, have now 40, uh, 45,000 gems. I can't really spoil you. This is just the first them by thing right so we want to get as close to max as possible maybe even max so let's see how far we can get we have a ton of magic items in our um gold pass which is obviously a huge support when you're doing this jamming spree because those clan uh, those pass perks are incredible those 20 percent they are helping a ton now let's get for the next let's go for the next upgrade because we still can do the barbarians so let's get that out of the way early and well, now we have obviously, obviously like the, the wall breaker. We have the baby dragon still left. But at the same time, let's check out how many books we have left. We have a ton of them left, right? Like we have 22 hero books, 16 books of building. But we still have to like think about where should we use those. 
So the next hammers, once again, we want to get rid of the hammers. So we have done and accomplished already something. Like that, that's that's the goal right now. And well, finally, the spells, our max. As I already said, I'm going to like use the hammers on both of them. We're not upgrading just yet the Valkyries and the Ice Golem because I feel like we are going to need this Dark Elixir, even though this seems like a lot at the top right, but it's not. It's not. So we are going to take a look at that later. But as I said, buying those resources with those League Medals is a really nice thing in the beginning. But if you're going slowly and do not have a lot of books or something, it is not recommended. It's kind of not the best way on spending your League Medals, to be honest. But I'm just doing it because I want to save some money, I guess. So yeah, don't, don't do it if you want to like upgrade wisely. Either way, we're not using the runes just yet because those runes, it's kind of like a tricky thing because we want, we have to upgrade the the um, storages first. Otherwise, we cannot use those those runes because, well, we don't want to waste any any resources. So now we're getting to the to the upgrades for the storages, which are not the most expensive ones, um, obviously, but at the same time, they are uh, well taking some time, which we have to jam because we do not have too many books of building. And we do not want to waste them on like a nine day, um, nine day building or something. So we have to gem those. We just up, um, bought a couple of those gems. So make sure. But now let's spend some more gold. Just make sure that we have those key buildings max, and we can use perfectly our magic books for that. So upgrade, um, upgrading. Yeah, our inferno towers. Upgrading then our scatters next. I guess yeah, inferno towers. That was the order. Um, Eagle, Inferno Towers, and then Scatter. That is the normal order we are going for. That's exactly what we're doing right here. And, uh, well, we're already really short on, on gold, to be honest. Like, we just op upgrade like five buildings or something, and we already lost like 100 million of loot of gold. That is that is some crazy things right there. That is incredible. Like, <laughs> this is so expensive. So now the, the Town Hall, obviously, and now we're back to 15 million gold so not a lot of gold left um that is uh <laughs> not much considering what we have left we have the bitter huts left we have cannons tesla left uh, i don't know wall straps so many things still left but either way now let's get some get some jamming started because at some point we get uh, we need to get those gems out of the way because uh well we want to <laughs> invest some more resources so yeah that's exactly what we are doing um spending it on some Cannons, checking out the, the resources we need over there. But see, we still need to upgrade those storages just to make sure that we can invest the, or like th that we can use those um, gold and the elixir runes because otherwise we're losing, we're losing value in there. So right now, I just, so you guys know, um, I checked out of the, out of the days. So I checked how many days every single building needs to upgrade. So I need which buildings I need to gem because like I said, we have only a limited amount of books of building and we do not want to use them on the wrong buildings. Like we do not want to use them on the buildings which are not taking too long. That wouldn't be the smartest thing to do because in this thing, overall, I can already spoil that, we're going to invest around about 700 euros, which is a lot of money. But at the same time, we want to use it as wisely as possible. We, we want to use it as strategic and as optimal as possible because I saw already many, many other YouTubers which are just randomly jamming things. We want to use our brain. We want to use our brain and we want to calculate that, uh, this through and make it as optimal as possible. Kinda. I mean, this was in the live stream, so it's not... It's getting close to perfect, okay? Let's put it like this. Either way, now out of the storages, let's get the max. We have one storage left, one... No, we have two storages left. Two gold storages left at this point. But we need, once again, uh, some resources to upgrade them. And well, as soon as that's done, we have all of the storages uh, max, so we can finally use those runes. And you can see already, this takes some time. This takes some time to upgrade everything in Tower 14. It is a lot of clicking, it is a lot of checking. And once again, remember, we still have the gold pass, for example, left with offer, like with things in there. We have our um, clan castle still left with things in there. So. Yeah, um, th that's a lot of things which we have to think about. But finally, we have everything maxed. Now we can finally start using some runes. That is that is kind of important. So let's upgrade the Dark Elixir storage as well because this is giving us 50,000 Dark Elixir if we're using a rune. So this is a lot of value right there. Um, so let's get that off the way as well. This is a 12-day upgrade. So this should mean that we can jam it as well. But let's see. And let's double-check some more buildings. So this is like another... like. 
end day something upgrade so the town hall should be easily gemmed like should be gemmed for us uh, for us in this specific situation so now we have still a lot, a lot of gold like which we have to get through which we have to burn through and um yeah this is going to take a lot um just right now because i'm just rewatching it is we should have bought like we should have built some walls and traps at this point I'm, i wasted a little bit of resources okay i wasted a couple of resources but as i said it was really chaotic so now let's get started with those builder huts i'm like i said i'm following i'm following the guide which i upgrade uploaded yesterday and this is like first off the key buildings which is eagle which is a scatter shot which is inferno tower after that get those builder huts to level one asap basically um or like to level two basically and uh well the town hall can be kind of late the town hall bomb like the town hall explosion with the poison is kind of weak so you do not want to upgrade that too early um but yeah anyways so now let's just keep upgrading keep spending those gems for the for the cheaper buildings upgrade wise um or like time wise and uh well like just a lot of things to do right now spending league medals switching in between of league medals and runes and as i said we're trying to do this as optimal as possible with switching in between with resetting the storages to make sure that what we're not overspending or like overusing those runes because they have a lot of a lot of value so we do not want to completely waste this value with always like using them with having like two million still not used so that's exactly why i'm finally building those walls those traps and now we're going always in between of using the runes getting back to the walls and always spending like the last couple of thousands onto walls to get them slowly up as well and well this is like basically what i'm going to do like non-stop from this point on we still have like we finally have those walls built but we still have a lot of other buildings to go through like defenses wise we still have 2.1 million dark elixir to spend on our pets on our everything basically so Ooh, this is going to be a lot to burn through now finally we're upgrading the pet house this should have been done earlier if you're not like already thinking about like you have to jam everything if you're going for the upgrade priority guide which i uploaded yesterday you should go for the pets quite early at least upgrade those pet um the building quite early because they're just so key and i saw already a lot of people attack without the pets even though they have the pets unlocked activate them you have to put them onto your heroes otherwise you won't have those pets in your battle it's really important use them and make sure you're activating them because it's kind of like for free like they're always with your heroes and just it would be just stupid to not use them either way now getting the first bomb tower out of the way just making sure we're, we're getting that obviously for the bomb towers they're kind of like a long upgrade so you want to use the um the the books right there and uh well there's another <laughs> another um bomb tower which we have to upgrade getting those resources in once again using the hammer and now spending once again those last couple of thousands into the walls and that's like as i said we're even getting to zero at this point so zero goal perfect use of the goal now let's get back to the next room because we still have a lot of runes left we can see it right here we have seven gold runes left and i, I we're still not even close to being done we're done we have those tesla left we still have not even our builder huts maxed we, there's so many things to do even though we have to say from level two to level three that's actually the perfect um cost for us because it's exactly 10 million so this is exactly like yeah two builder huts and then you're once again out of resources so this is really good for us because it's really easy to calculate through and to think about so that, that is kind of easy if you um think about that but either way once again keep jamming keep jamming keep jamming those gems are dropping like i don't know like it's going down really quickly with those gems but still we have some left and yes as i spoiled already we have to refill them at some point but just this moment has not come just yet so let's see still upgrading those builder huts um now double checking what is left like upgrade wise what we have to go through still left we have now 10 million so we can use that maybe on some yeah maybe on some more um tesla maybe on the on the cannon for example so let's use some more league medals to get some more resources and as i said this is key this is was so important to get out of those league medals saved and make sure that we're fully stacked I, overall with those league medals bonus i had 2.6 and 5k um 
league medals overall. So there was like there were a lot of league medals in in this. So once again getting back to the to the walls, once again getting back to zero with the goal, and we're we're slowly getting there. We're slowly getting there. Always like getting those those walls some love some love as well. And now we're back to three to three goal runes, and that's I mean. Come on, that, that's not that's not a lot of resources left, obviously. But still, we have to burn through a lot of cannons still. We have not even finished all of the Tesla just yet. And this is going to be tricky. But still, we're going to try. We're going to try anyway. So, let's make sure that we're getting that done as well. Once again, some more League Medals left. We have still over 1,300 League Medals left. And still have not used the Boney um, of, the, of the last season. So... Let's now just max those bitter huts. Even though I have to say, I feel like the bitter huts need some buff. They need some love. I feel like the bitter huts are so weak right now. I just hope that Super Saiyan is going to like do some buffs over the next couple of weeks, especially as we approach the uh, world qualifier. But that's just a different topic. So now let's just somehow spend the last couple of gold. Like this time, it's not really working too well. Like we have this time, I feel like a couple of thousand left. We won't be really able to spend all of this. But at this point, I'm like having some fun with like trying around with those numbers. With those numbers, as I said, this is we're trying to use some of our brain to make sure that we're spending the resources as optimal as possible. But um, yeah, so obviously it wasn't optimal, optimal, but it was kind of kind of decent, I would say. So either way, this is now getting to eighty thousand, which I have not thought about. So yeah, that that's quite expensive. So I feel like those twenty twenty thousand, we're not going to. Yeah, get good use, get good use out of that. But let's get the next um, rune out of the window. So we have we're once again back to twenty million, and uh, yeah, that are a lot of resources. So now let's just keep going. We have still some more upgrades to go for. Obviously, we still have like two more Tesla to go for, and a lot of cannons. Seven cannons are still left, and we're going to go and max all of them today. So. Let's just keep going for now. Um, we collected some more resources from the gold mines. I'm not sure if that was the smartest move. I don't know. Either way, we're just going to keep pushed through. Double checking with the resources. We have 5.6 million right now left, which means we should go for some league medals once again and buy some more gold. Just to make sure that we're getting, um, or like not wasting any of the, of the gold right there. We need, uh, we have some more gold over there in the in the gold pass, which you always have to remember about. And this was the perfect calculation because this means we have 14 million and this is exactly the cost of one cannon. So once again, perfect calculation right there. And now we can, can once again use a, use a rune and same procedure as every year, kind of like. Um, so uh, yeah, we still have to invest obviously a couple of resources into Elixir because we need to max the Warden as well. But to be honest, I feel like the Warden with obviously having still like runes of elixir left the one shouldn't be the biggest problem but still we are not even we have not even started with those pets and with the heroes so this is just the gold upgrade so far mainly and this already took like nearly 20 minutes so and this was obviously like in the stream it was even longer so Tower 14, it was a challenge to upgrade, but still we're slowly getting there now we're taking the loot from the um from the clan cast as well, so we can upgrade the next cannon. Slowly, slowly, we're getting there. Slowly, we finished all of those, um, all of those Tesla. We started, we started with the last couple of cannons now, and this is looking pretty good for us that we can somehow max this. Obviously, not maxing the walls. That's just like that would be just stupid to max them with, with like um, with like money. But either way, we got. We want to get defense wise. We want to get defense wise max. That that would be that would be OP. But now, once again, adding those, uh, adding, upgrading those bitter huts. Um, now, once again, one couple of walls, so we can get that um, out of the of the way as well. So we're once again back to like a few more resources, and now we need the next gold rune. And I mean, I guess we all saw this right. Like we just easily unlocked the gold rune. There was no problem at all. And now we are getting the, the next twenty million on the board to somehow like finish those bitter huts. And we still have to use some more resource or like league medals to get the cannons done. And this is just ridiculous. This is so much to do just for Tower 14, like defense wise. This will take forever. <laughs> this will take forever if you don't jam it. But either way, I think now 
we got it we got it done with the defenses mainly so let's now switch to dark elixir let's try and see if we can somehow spend some more dark elixir for this we need some more gems so let's refill some of the gems now let's get started with the gemming spree with those pets. First off, Yuck first. Yuck is the strongest pet in the game, so you have to upgrade that first. I'm always going for level 5 first, and then going for the next pet. This is kind of like uh, the thing which I'm going to do. We always gem the first couple of levels because um, we do not want to waste the uh, Book of Heroes in the beginning. So we do not want to like waste them on like a really short amount of upgrade time. So we have to kind of gem them like for our challenge we have to jam them and i think that makes more sense um either way yak is now at five we want to upgrade the unicorn next then i guess owl and lassie because we want to go to go to five with all of them at least so that is no like if you go for a specific order i would always recommend you guys yak and then after that depending on your strategy if you're a ground attacker i feel like yak then lassie then the um the unicorn and then the owl. If you're an air attacker, it should be Yak, then owl, then I'm not sure. I guess then the Lassie and then unicorn. I'm not really sure, but either way, owl is pretty important for air attacks. I mean, that's no surprise, but either way, let's just keep investing those resources into those heroes. I feel like once again, upgrading the queen might this might be the smartest with the last couple of resources. Especially Dark Elixir, it's really hard to get to this like zero basically because. There is no Dark Elixir in the in the League shop, so we can't really do that, which is uh, really, like, that sucks, to be honest. But, uh, well, so we have to, like, waste those 7.2k Dark Elixir and just, like, use the first rune, right? We have a couple of runes still left, obviously, but we cannot optimize this in any better way, I feel like. So, let's just use the first rune. We have 350,000. We can use that for the next couple of pets, upgrade them as well to max. To five and then they're max with the plus five um and well slowly slowly is working like we have some more dark elixir in here ten thousand actually so this is perfect for our pet and we're basically to zero which is really hard to do with the dark elixir but we somehow managed to do this so kind of proud of myself so next rune in there and just keep trying just keep trying to find the perfect combinations to make sure that we're not like wasting too much dark elixir because that would be a shame. Dark Elixir is so important on Tower 14. It is incredible. But I think at this point, it's getting like it's taking too long. It's taking too long for me to explain every single move. And this is why we're just let's just jump to the finish. Let's just jump to whatever we achieved at the end of the day. We have our walls, we have our traps, we have finished every single defense. We are completely maxed out on defense. Obviously, walls not included. And we have upgraded a ton of heroes, a ton of pets. Let's check that out in our profile. We have our king, not really upgraded ju just yet too much. We have the max queen, max warden, royal champion, nearly max. And we have our pets already kind of far. For more, I have to say, I think this was a pretty good start uh, into town 14. But um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a ton of fun upgrading all of that. But it was expensive as well. And once again, at the end of the video, I want to give a quick reminder for you guys. Do not overinvest in a free to play game. It, once again, you should not invest too much. For me, like I said, we invested overall so far around about 700 euros and it's paying off on defense uh, if you consider how it went last year, like yesterday. But still, what I want to say is that you should not over invest. For me, it's content. So I'm making money out of this again, basically. But at the same time, don't over invest. It's just like, it's just not worth it. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my jamming spree, but in a different way than most of the other YouTubers are doing it. And well, I hope I see you guys back tomorrow for the next video. Until then, see you guys and bye-bye.